Hi YouTube family. This video is going to be a throwback to old school YouTube videos when we were saying what's in my purse or what's in my bag. I want to show you guys what I have in here. There is a lot in here. It is time for me to clean this thing out and get ready to pack a little bit of a lighter one during the summer. So I want to show you guys what I have in here and you probably be like, oh my gosh, woman, how do you have that much crap in there? <laughs> so let's get into it. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe by clicking the button below. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon next to it so that you can be notified of any future videos that I might be having. I would love to have you guys here with me. Let's get into the video. Okay, first thing is my has actually, you guys know what? My husband buys my purses for me now. He knows what I like, and I'm the kind of person that doesn't go out and like like to shop like that anymore. I'd rather just, you know, online shop, not have to worry about all of that. So, yeah. So, hubby, he not only did he buy me this purse right here, he bought me this wallet. He knows that I love purple. It's just it's totally purple, totally me. Um, in one side of this, you have just a regular, like, you know, change money thing. Like it's always empty, of course. <laughs> but on the other side, it was a lot of my credit cards, my driver's license, that kind of stuff. So this was really nice to have those all, you know, separated. I am going to have to go down to a smaller one hair clip. I always keep about a million of these for my personal summers. When I get a hot flash, I better have a clip in my purse or I'm just gonna die. <laughs> Next thing in here, it's a pill bottle. But um, it doesn't just have like ibuprofen in it. I carry every pill I can possibly think of. So if somebody's got a tummy ache, if somebody's got anxiety, if somebody's got pain, if somebody has a headache, if somebody has sinus pressure, I'm gonna carry the pill and they're gonna know that they can come to me. <laughs> got this cute little thing. Um, this says beach please on it. Got it for 50 cents at Walmart just to protect my eyeglasses. I have been so bad about eyeglasses in the past and I finally found this cute pair at Walmart that I really like and I just thought, I gotta protect those somehow because I don't want them to get broke like all my pairs do, even though it's not a very expensive pair. Okay, this thing right here, you guys, this is called Tech Snake. And what it is, is it's a portable battery charger for your phone, for your tablet, whatever. Got it three years ago when I very first started my channel. Um, they were kind enough to send me one. It's really heavy, it's quite weighted. And so I had charged it way back then um, when I very first got it and maybe charged it one other time since then. But when I was in the hospital so much this past three weeks, my kids didn't have a way to charge their phone. I, my phone was going dead, da, da, da. This thing, we just, you know, got our little USB cords and we, we plugged it into here. And this thing charged my tablet, my son's phone, my phone, and my daughter's phone and it still had some power in it. So this is not one of those mamby pamby little ones that you carry around that you can only get a few hours out of. No, this is one that I really would recommend you guys. I'll make sure that I link it to you for you guys below. It's one of those PR things that when you get it, you're like, okay, I don't know if I'll ever use this. And then you realize, oh my gosh, I've always needed this in my life. Breath mints, of course, doesn't everybody need them? And another hair clip, of course. <laughs> and a hairbrush um, that's got a ton of hair in it. Obviously my keys to my house, which I keep on a huge lanyard. And of course it's purple. And I keep this on my huge lanyard because I don't wanna lose it. My kids and my husband take my lanyard off of here and what happens? I lose my darn keys. So everybody is absolutely forbidden forbidden from taking that lanyard off. Okay, this, oh you guys, I love this thing. Okay, obviously I always have my phone in there, but have you guys seen this thing? This is just a $12 selfie light for your phone and it has three different settings. I really like this thing, it's really cool. And it doesn't interfere with your camera because your camera is up here and you can just take it. And it also doesn't interfere with the rear facing camera if you need it to, to do the rear facing so you can just unclip it. Now the only thing I would say about this is sometimes it'll get bumped in the bottom of my purse. So I actually now got kind of smart 
and put it into a pocket in my purse. It seems to save it a little bit more. So yeah, are you guys getting the idea that I carry too much in my purse? I really do. Okay, I have the Kenra 25 volume spray. This is the little one. I have a big one. I This is the best hairspray on the planet. Uh, just saying. Okay, this is like a purse in a purse. This is something that I carry everywhere I go, everything I do. It needs replenished and I'll show you why. Okay, first of all, here's another hairspray, <laughs> which I love from Redken. Um, here is a perfume that I carry around. It's one of those ones that you turn up and you can refill the cartridge. I think Scentbird sent me that and I really do like that one. It's actually... It's Tokyo Milk Dark, I think, in there. I really like that. I've got tissues in here. Wait a minute, there's something else in there. Something heavy in here. That's gone down in the little tissue thing. Okay, what is it? Oh, yep, see, clippers. Absolutely have to have fingernail clippers in there uh, every time. And I've got bobby, or not bobby pins, I've got safety pins in there. I have a cloth that I keep in this protective case for cleaning my phone or my tablet. And I have some of this stuff. This is called lint removing sheets. This is what I use because I have two dogs and I've always got hair all over the place. And then I have an eye patch. Now you might think that that's really random and weird, but I keep this because I wear contacts and I was out one time and one of my contacts got ripped and it really scraped my eye and I needed to keep my eye closed, but I was in so much pain that I, I needed to see with my other eye, but I was in so much pain with this, all I wanted to do is close my eyes. So I actually wore this for a while. And so I keep one of those in there just, just because I'm afraid of it again. And then we of course have the feminine hygiene product. I keep a couple of packets of Splenda or, or Truvia, whichever one. I keep hand, hand sanitizer in this thing. I know you guys, there's a lot in this little thing. I, that's why I said it's a purse in a purse. Okay, and then I keep, this is from um, same company as this one right here. This is uh, Hollywood. These are cool little tape strips. So if you lose a hem on your pants, you can actually temporarily put that in there and it will temporarily hold your hem up. I use them if my bra straps are showing on something, you can put it across your bra strap and then put your shirt on it and it will really hold that good. Sometimes you'll get a gape, you know, when you're wearing a button down and this can help with that too. So love that. This is one of my favorite hand creams ever. First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hand Cream. I have a hair tie in this little thing. My goodness, I've got a lot of stuff in this thing. <laughs> I have a lot of bobby pins in here, which I use all the time. And I think that that is it. And I have one of these ingenious things. I don't know who ever thought of this or whatever, but basically this is one individual makeup wipe. And I don't know if you guys will be able to see or not the water in there. You push this and it the water comes onto the makeup wipe. It, just like this, it's dry. So if you were to try to take that out, it wouldn't do anything. But you push that, shake it up, activate it, pull it out, you've got your wipe. But it's only one use. And I have a stamp in there. So <laughs> I had a lot of junk in there, you guys. I didn't even realize that. Okay, what else do I have? I have my health insurance cards, which I've had out a million times in the past three weeks. Oh, here's another uh, hand lotion because I guess apparently I was just about out of that. This is a trial size that I got in something of the Hourglass Caution Mascara. Caution, you guys, this didn't work for me. Just so you know, <laughs> it was not my favorite mascara. Um, I also have... Sudafed, I get terrible headaches. I have a really beautiful lipstick. This is Rimmel and it's the 200 and oh my gosh. It's just this pretty shade of mauve, um, kind of a deeper mauve and I really like it. Okay, moving on to my last pocket. I keep one of these fans. I showed you guys one of these fans and I think a monthly favorites and keep one of those in my purse because I have to. I keep a refreshing spray from MAC. This one is the, uh, I think this one is the rose one. Smells so good. Another hair tie, some more bobby pins. There, this is just like the never ending pit. My son says that he 
doesn't even dare go into it because it's like the black hole. I keep an extra set of keys for my car in case I get locked out. Another bobby pin and it needs to go in something else. Let's see what else is in here if there's anything else. And then my lipsticks. Oh, before I show you my lipsticks, this is um, one of the headbands that goes over my head for my wound. And um, it doesn't look like it would be a headband right now, but it stretches out and it goes over that and that's what I have to wear. So I carry an extra one around in case my wound seeps too much. And then I just have a bunch of lipsticks. You guys, I don't know if Bite Beauty is discontinuing this. This is number 14. I don't know what the colored name is, but it's number 14 on the lip liners for them. It's called the lip pencil. It actually looks like it would go perfect with that lipstick. So, and then I have a MAC lipstick in here. I think this one is called Creme de la Femme. I'll show that one to you guys too. And then this one is number 41 from Rimmel London and Kate. And then this is a Wet n Wild uh, cat suit. I can't remember what this one is. Something rose. I can't see it without my glasses and I buried my glasses. Oh my gosh, they're like almost all the same colors, except I know this one won't be. This is the Revlon High Shine. I can't remember what it's called. High, high something, High Shine something. So pretty. And then I keep this one. It's from Ulta Beauty. It's their lip plumping. This one is kind of just got kind of a holographic color to it, but when you get it on, it really just shears out to not be a whole heck of a lot of anything. And then this is something that I got from Lancome, Lancome a long time ago that I actually don't even show people because it's discontinued. So these are the 85 lip products that I put in my purse and <laughs> I guess I need to have them. That was it, you guys, holy cow. Obviously I needed to clean out my purse. Now I'm glad I did. I can switch over to a smaller purse and be done with that. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this old school video. We used to do the what's in my purse videos all the time. I just thought it would be a fun, easy, quick video for us both. Take care of yourselves. Everybody have a great week or weekend wherever this may land for you. And I will see you all in my very next video. Bye-bye, you guys.